Mr. Speaker, you recall that the member for Scarborough Southwest raised a perfectly legitimate point of order on the issue of an inappropriate gesture by the Minister of Trade towards the member from Churchill earlier today. The uh, Minister has denied the gesture, but given the screenshot and given the video that is currently circulating in the media and in social media, he may want to revise his response of earlier today. It was a highly inappropriate gesture, Mr. Speaker, and we believe that the Minister of International Trade owes the member from Churchill an apology. À l'intervention du député de Scarborough Sud-Ouest, il y avait une réaction complètement démesurée des députés du gouvernement. The member for Kelowna Lake Country came in through the opposition lobby and attempted to get at the member for Scarborough Southwest, who was sitting in the House at the time, Mr. Speaker. Myself and the member from Sudbury had to escort him out of the House of Commons and back into the opposition lobby. I had no, long, soon, no sooner returned to my seat when I saw the Minister of International Trade also standing in front of the member for Scarborough Southwest. He had crossed the floor, making what can only be called threatening and intimidating gestures. I also had to escort him across to the government side. It is highly inappropriate for that minister and that member of parliament to be attempting to intimidate opposition members. Now, sadly, Mr. Speaker, today is International Anti-Bullying Day. This is not the first time that government members have crossed the floor inappropriately. It has to stop. There is no excuse for this behavior, Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Speaker, I would like to uh, read uh, into the record your statement on decorum in the House that you made on Wednesday, December 12, 2012. You said at that time, my task as Speaker is to ensure that the intensity of feeling expressed around some issues is contained within the bounds of civility without infringing on the freedom of speech that members enjoy. The chair tries to ensure that our rules are adhered to in a way that encourages mutual respect. Mr. Speaker, I want to say to you today, you must ensure that civility. So we ask you, how will you ensure that civility and what will you do to stop incidences of this sort from occurring in the House of Commons again? Thank you, Mr. Speaker.